Uh, it's my belief that uh, we live in an ever stressful world and that as architects, it's our role and responsibility to improve life. And so the work that I've been doing is about how do we use architecture as a mechanism to create a better world for others. So we're going to see over a billion more people on the planet. And because of climate change and war and natural disaster, most of those people are going to have to live in a migratory or refugee style situation. And so as we're beginning to look at the issues of refugees, it's just the beginning of what we will see over the next 20 years. Currently, we're seeing massive migration and urbanization happening in our cities. Um, many of the institutions and governments that oversee these cities are not set up to manage. For the last 20 years, private spaces have taken over the public space. And we've been looking at the idea of form follows finance. Money dictates the space. But I think in the future, we need to figure out a way where the public space is more valuable than private. We need to find ways where cities are much more diverse, but at the same time, much more cohesive. Uh, most recently, I've been working on the Syrian border um, after and during the war. Uh, and as an architect, you have a remarkable opportunity and responsibility to find ways to bring dignity to the lives of every person in the camps and those who have lost everything. Uh, this is important because you're not just losing your home, you're losing your history, your livelihood, and your future. If I know how to build a house that will shelter a family, even if they're the poorest people on the planet, it's a moral opportunity for me to give. So for me, the, the value of architecture is about improving life.